Give me a moment. I'm setting some stuff up. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new day of All Creator Live and I'm back playing more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth with my sister April. Hello. Alright, so we're still continuing our adventure in chapter 12 where we're doing all kinds of side quests and side stuff. Side stuff. Yeah, just side stuff in general. And uh, still have two ingredients left to find in this well, side quest. Picking them up. Alright, well let me take a look and see if we can transmute that item that we need. Yeah, so let's transmute a couple of things. Might be able to. I gotta look for things that'll give me experience points. Like this. Still got a little bit left to go. Uh... Alright. That looks pretty cool, too. Too bad it's really only useful for... I'll probably give it to red. Let's see here. Oh, there's another one. High ether. There we go. Yep. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> I gotta go kill another Jabberwock. But let's take a look here. Oh, and I gotta kill another Marlboro. Yeah. 
eh, they legitimately were not hard. And I already have the areas where I can get them. And to anyone wanting to make the bait, this will help you figure out where they're at. <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind that you're going to have to look for the springs and the uh, antenna and the towers for Chadley in order to unlock these. Um, let's make sure I got the other ingredients too before I do this. I do. I got lots. <laughs> I think I got more than enough. All right. So the first one, the Marlboro Tentacle, is in. Uh, go out further. Thank you. It's in Gongaga. It should be right around here. And here it is. Sultan of Stinch. Alright, so this fight isn't that bad. I thought it was going to be bad, but we took care of this guy really fast, so. And keep in mind it is for a level 38 though, and I think I'm a level 45. Here he goes. Your funeral. There's my again. He smells so bad. Oh, I'm wrong. Don't worry this about is not. Oh, he's a frog too. Oh wait, no, he got eaten. The. You like taking over? There we go. I'm back. <laughs> Stagger him. There we go. Something? Wait. Yeah, I'm missing Cloud. Where is he? <laughs> it's well, the only way I know that. you in cloud but <laughs> you're back hooray i don't know the mobile role to eat anybody but let's check there we go yeah we got the mobile tentacle 
And now, to those wondering, Jabberwock Tentacle, or the Jabberwock Horror, Horn, Jab Jabberwock Horn, God, that's a little mouthful, is in Cosmo Canyon, and the Jabberwock is located close to pretty much where the, kind of, kind of where the Marlboro was on the last map. This fight is also pretty easy, except we don't have to worry about status ailments. But yeah, like I said, keep in mind that you are going to have to find all the towers and the springs. Wait, am I in the right place? Oh wait, here it is. We've earned awoken. That's what it is. Here's the place. science and then she does a little oh takes has also healed me <laughs> Ah, hey there, Artemis. It's good to see you again. My sister, April. Like I told you yesterday, she likes to stop by some, during some playthroughs. Any last words? Mostly Final Fantasy VII. Oh, no, you're not late. You're okay. And that's how you get the Jabberwock horn. Now let's go back to Costa del Sol. Uh, I forget where that's located. I think that's in the Coral region, right? Yep. Here, yeah, yep. The best way to make tracks is but yeah, Chocobo also, uh, Chocobo Artemis, thank you for helping me out with the Discord earlier today. It's really nice having somebody hey, new there to what help out that? with certain things that I couldn't really... Couldn't really try out with anyone else because they'd been around for a lot longer. This is impossible. How am I supposed to choose which of my babies to 
I know. I want to save though. some rooms uh no time lords isn't here i think time lords is uh you know time lords hasn't been showing up that much lately but uh you know he's busy he's a busy guy plus this is uh I guess this is not a very good time for him, you know, to be watching his stream. But if he shows up, he'll show up, and he'll probably show up on the Discord. Alright, now we can transmute the bait. As far as finding the other ingredients, the pearl ginger root and the ether onion they're pretty much located all over the place they're not very they're not yeah they're not super common but you can find them if you're just looking around on the map oh yeah if you're looking for the springs that's uh something that you can do pick up all the stuff that you're while you're there and you should be picking up some of these yes. there we go legendary bait all right we're done this let's take it to Kyrie at the Gotta figure out where she is. I think she wants me to catch the creature, not give her the bait. I have to use the bait to catch the creature here. Yeah. Alright, so let's go to the area. April. I know. Oh, you're on Discord now. I'm sorry. I thought that was somebody new, Artemis. You're you're talking from Discord. But yeah, hey again, Artemis. Yeah, this is my sister. Hello. She's uh She's she likes Final Fantasy games and that's why she's here for Final Fantasy 7. Hey, whatever it is, it's supposed to be right here. Oh no, that's for the fight that usually takes place here. The monster is... Oh, the other beach. Oh, I went through the wrong cave. What the hell? What the... How did I... Yeah, I know. Oh, I see. What? Why the hell does it put you here? Why doesn't it put you in the... Okay. It will put me on the thing where I teleport to. But oh well. Okay, so this buoy is something that we need to do this with. Also, Artemis says hi. Hello. <laughs> she said hello, but she's eating. <laughs> yes, use bait. Let's see what this gets us. Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Double <laughs> good. Spoke too yep. soon. <laughs> <laughs> He ate me. Oh, he's chewing on me. Leave it to me. Come on. 
Can't do anything without ATB. Hold still. Trying to whack you. Chewing on me now too. He's so tiny. Let go of him. There we go. Dang it. Everybody's getting eaten. Here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 You know, the whole take care of her thing. I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so she's on the beach, right? Here you go, aren't you, Cap? The best way to make tracks is on Choco Back. Choco boats for rent right here, folks. Passengers with reservations at Whoa! I'm in the presence of the right That was an annoying fight, but it was doable. Just had to keep swapping characters to stagger the enemy. It sucks that whenever you get eaten or bitten or whenever, when, yeah, whenever you're inconvenienced by the enemy, you have to stagger them in order to get them to let go of you. Because sometimes they just don't want to get staggered. I know pressuring the enemy can make it easier, but sometimes that's hard too, because you don't have the right spell. Hi there. Dancing to her own song. Yeah. Welcome back, fellow Merc. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Oh, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie, but this is no laughing matter. Uh, wait, hang on a sec, please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Once you showed up, I knew you'd handle it better than me, so I thought I should let the pro do his thing. And if I hadn't shown up, what then? I mean, I would have figured something out. I'm actually a surprisingly resourceful gal, you know. 
Do you wanna die? <laughs> Forgive my granddaughter for questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a Merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh, Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Uh, I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Ah. Oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you. Or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners. Equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then. Shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, let's say we look for one last job before we leave. Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> So, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc. Just like you wanted. <laughs> yeah, and I saw what you said, Artemis. About posing as a Merc. Uh, you said that and April said think long and hard, but I decided to go for the other option. I think... Apologies, but this beach is reserved for guests of the Royal Coast. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So she should probably stick with her group. Yeah. Also, sorry, uh, Artemis, if sometimes it takes me a little longer to respond. My attention's kind of get getting pulled into into three different directions. I'm trying to focus on the game, look at the chat, and listen to what April's saying sometimes. So. All right, you. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. 
See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums, radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! Hooray! Rob from the rich and give to the poor. Oh, and I think that... Oh, I think she was already at blue. I can't remember. Yeah, she was at blue. Mm, I think Kate's is going to stay at gray because I haven't encountered any side quests for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's not going to be a part of the whole dating thing. Speaking of which, that guy's on the hunt for new love. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was it. No other side quests here. Wow, how disappointing. A little sad. Alright. Well, let me see. Where will we go to next? Well, you do have that treasure hunting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have that. Uh, but there's also the other places we haven't completed, like... Uh, Wait, there is another quest here. Why is it not showing up on the bulletin board? It might be that treasure hunt thing with the pirates. It might be the treasure hunt thing? Might be. Hmm. I don't know. You got like a. a, a That's right. I mean. With, uh, yeah, we did get a cutscene with Red, and I don't think we've officially started it. Plus, I don't see anything about it on here. Alright, so we got one event in the Junon region. We have... I don't know if we'll have another one here in the Grasslands. Uh, we finished everything in Gungaga. We've gotten everything we can get done in Cosmo Canyon. Nibelheim, we haven't even started. Yeah. Could be locked by main story. It could be. We don't know if things open up after or before or during chapter 12 because we haven't really officially started 12. We wanted to do a bunch of side quests. So today we'll either take care of that pirating stuff or we'll do stuff in the Nibble region. Because I don't know what this is, but we haven't gotten there yet. No, we don't have... Uh, no, we don't... I don't think we've been to the Calm region. Well, the Calm is part of the Grasslands. Pretty much, yeah. I guess you could say that. Yeah. So it would be the Grasslands region. Yeah. Here and here. So. That's how it would show up on the quest line things. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's do the pirate thing. That doesn't seem like it would be as long. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, it could be long. It could not be long. But, uh, yeah, let's go down. Uh, I'm kind of wondering where Vincent is, though. Barrett's over there breaking stuff. Hmm. Before when I found Vincent, he was hiding. Well, you didn't see that. You weren't in the room in the in Coral Canyon when I went to ride the tiny tiny Bronco back from Cosmo Canyon to uh, the Costa del Sol. Uh, on the port, I saw Sid, and then up or, hidden around the side of the beat of the dock house, uh, Sid was or not Sid. Vincent was behind the. <laughs> Behind the uh, dock house, just chilling, laying up against it, staying out of sight. So he's somewhere around here, but I don't know where. Nah. 
He's typically somewhere where we can see him. There, oh yeah, Jesus Christ, he blended right in with the flora and everything. Unfortunately, we can't talk to any of them, so. We can't talk to him or, well, we could talk to Sid, but Sid just wants me to get on the boat. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> you ready to jet? Yes. No. see anything here oh okay so there are more than six in some areas okay so we might have way more side quests than just this oh yeah that well i mean you were here yesterday pretty well. wait was it la yesterday's genshin stream or was it the stream before that hmm Yesterday, that's what I thought. Alright, so I don't know where... Well, he just said go out to sea, so... Let's talk with Sid and go out to the sea. And see if anything pops up. You ready to jet? Let's jet. I didn't mean to hit that, damn it. You ready to jet? see what we can do uh, we got all this open water that we've already traversed so I got to there from to that port from that portal over to here so we could still explore around other areas in the tiny Bronco and go to other ports like that one over there which looks like it's Mount Nibelheim uh, it's also probably the areas down there and around the coast here and also dock there. Let's go to each of the docks to start. According to what Sid you treasure map. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to look. Um... I can't really look at the, the map like that, but uh, I guess maybe it's the same as here. I mean, Sid said that we can't go out into the open ocean, but I guess I could try. One of them's down near Gungaga. I think that's supposed to be Gongaga. Yeah. I think it might be Gongaga. What else if we had like a mini map or something? Closer to Gungaga. Side of this area. Yeah, that's pretty big, but I think this is all for just this one region. And to get back over to.
Yeah. There's an X right near that place, but I'm talking about the X down at the bottom there. I was trying to go to that. Because, yeah, that part looks like that there, but this part looks like something down... The, the, the bottom part looks like something down there near Gongaga, but maybe it's in here. Like I said, we should probably just go to each one of the ports. I just noticed what you said, Artemis. You said, explore the ocean. And then I guess you heard me say that, uh, that I can't go into the open ocean with the tiny Brocco. And they were like, oh. <laughs> yeah, Sid said it to Yuffie uh, that the tiny Bronco won't be able to make it into open waters. So we'll have to stay close to shore. And then I think I remember hearing Yuffie saying something about, oh, kill me. Because she doesn't like sailing. Dogs right in here. Yeah. Wait, what's that? It looks kind of like a dock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Appreciate the business. Okay, yeah, this is a dock. Handful of gold dust. Yeah, let's see where I am at. Oh, I'm I'm around here. Well, this would have been an easier way to get to this spring. I don't know how I got there before, but there's apparently also a couple other treasure chests around here. <coughs> yep, and there's the spring. Every time I see these, I want to break them. Then I know they're part of the scenery. I do like Kat, Kate Sith and... and Red. I'm gonna have to swap them out. I haven't been in the for a while. Mm. Sorry, everyone. Uh... See here, Tifa. I haven't had her in the team for a while. And Luffy. I haven't had her in the team for a while either. Man, I'm pretty sure I got everybody's equipment mastered. Yeah. We haven't gotten any new weapons. I do, however, have another material slot here. Yeah, skill slot. What's this do? Expand range of linked materia. Oh, okay. So whatever's linked with this will uh, increase the range, the area of effect. Chakra and precision defense focus. So let's take this off. Uh, take this off. Put. lightning material on there and then put the magnify there we go and I'll cause lightning drain down and give her the chakra material there and the precision defense material Hers are mastered. Wait, I did check hers, right? 
Yep. As I thought, everyone's mastered. And I think everyone's full. Oh. Aerith apparently got another skill slot. Reprieve. Prevents incapacitation once per battle. Oh, that sounds good. And now that we have that on, Sephiroth cannot kill her. <laughs> He's gonna have to wait until the next battle. I'll try to kill her again. <laughs> Which means he could, the sword goes through and he pulls it out and she's like, I'm fine. And he goes, uh, uh, let me try again. <laughs> she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> or she hits him with a, <laughs> with a folding chair, like in that meme. <laughs> and I will come back. Oh, okay. Gonna leave for a minute, and I'll come back. Okay, all right, Artemis. And even if you can't make it back, it was good seeing you. All right, if I was a treasure chest in a very small area, where would I be? Well, I think there's still one more to find, so. Oh, right, right in front. I don't know how I didn't see it, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. It's supposed to be. Wait, this is supposed to be a port. Where's Sid at? How am I supposed to get back on the tiny Bronco? Crap. Oh, yeah. Don't damn it. Oh, I don't know where the port was supposed to be. Maybe deeper in here. Oh, I don't see anything. It's supposed to be one near Gongaga. I know I'm not really near Gongaga, but... Oh, there it is. All right, well, let's go here and walk over to that port. That way we can unlock it. And we're gonna be doing pirate stuff today, so. Hey Artemis, welcome back. I'm gonna try to do pirate stuff today, so I guess today we're pirating with Yuffie and Tifa. I don't think Yuffie would make a good pirate. She gets seasick. <laughs> Super sick. <laughs> Doubling over in pain. Oh, this is literally a port where you can buy stuff. Cool. I like that. That's a nice idea. Got nothing but the best here. As good as it gets. <laughs> oh cool. That lob ankle. I haven't got one of these yet. Let's grab it. And we're all full up for materia, so I don't have to worry about buying any. Anytime. I do like it when they add tiny, little itty bitty micro towns to areas and stuff that you can explore. It's a nice little touch that some video games do. Even if there's like no story involved with them or anything like that, it's just cool. It's world building, that's what it is. <laughs> Can't 
climb up here. Bridge. A bridge to ooh, a whole different area that looks just as confusing as the last. So forget that. <laughs> For the treasures? Eh, I'm sure I can figure it out if I go to the areas. There's Vincent. Hey. <laughs> I just like how we can't talk to him yet. You ready to jet? It's like not until I trust you 100%. I'm only following you because I hate Sephiroth. Uh, I hate that mentality though of people are like I don't really hate you just say it you hate me <laughs> alright so I guess that could be considered. All right, so maybe the treasure is somewhere deep within that jungle I didn't want to go to. This is where the X looks like it is. It's just <laughs> another jungle I have to look around in. God. Well, yeah, I know, but at the same time, it still doesn't help me get through them damn labyrinthian jungles. So you know that any time that you go up to something like that, they'll automatically show up, right? Yeah, because they're like, you can't do that without me. <laughs> oh god, there are monsters over here. <laughs> Why'd you bring me over here? <laughs> Factory. Can dead end secret factory <laughs> that I can't get into. There's no buttons or anything to press. <laughs> Crap. Alright, well. This mystery was a bust. I'm wondering if there might be something related to a side quest or something in there. That could be why that's there. Get ready to listen to this music for a long time. Again. <laughs> this is Gungaga Part 3. <laughs> Pirate Edition. Arr. Yeah, we can hear you all groaning. Groaning? You meant groaning, <laughs> right? <laughs> it sounded more like you said growing. <laughs> okay. It's not fun. The The music's nice, but hearing it a million times isn't... Well, fuck, I can't get down there. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. For some reason, this is the one exception to falling that high. <laughs> I don't know why Cloud doesn't want to do that more often. Hey, baby buddy! Baby! Little buddy! It's like, over here, jump off this cliff. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, little baby boy, I'll do it. They're honking buddies. Little Hong Kong boys. 
Gucci face. Yeah, each of the locations apparently get their own different pets, and the ones here get the Chuchi fish. Yeah. I think it really all depends on the chocobo. Because somebody did a call out, uh, a little... Not a collaboration, uh... A collage, I don't know. Just like a little video of each one of the types of pet you can do depending on the chocobo yeah yeah it yeah, was of his hair because <laughs> of his hair <laughs> why the babies look towards him. They're like, oh, another, it's a human chocobo. I wonder what the monkeys mean. I wonder if the monkeys are like the rabbits. No, nah, there's no sniff, sniff, sniff area. Believe it or not, it's actually a lot safer to slowly walk around like this in this jungle area because everything's so hall-like. Hey, what's... Well, this is a unique place. It's got music and everything. Well, somebody lives around here. Is it? Oh, I'm back here. At the one guy's shack. What the I followed... Hell? I followed his road all the way back to here, where he lives. Oh, yeah. Remember, I haven't really been around this area. I wasn't really around this area, so I guess I took a, long, a wrong turn. Yeah. Gotta find some way to get into here, apparently. I think this route could take me there. But let's go the other route. Let's go this route first, because there's some gray. Yeah. <laughs> Down this little wisp of gray that I need to fill in. Easy prey. Sniff, sniff. Over there. Yep, bunnies. Okay. So the bunnies are permanently something that denotes an area that Chocobo can sniff up. Uh, sapphire. Hmm. 
let's go back to the fort, I guess. streaming tomorrow i don't stream on friday saturdays and sundays uh because i work nights on the weekends and i have to sleep most of the day so <clears throat> it would just be a bad time doesn't really look like there's any way to get in there other than this way but I tried and I didn't see anything hmm. unless there's like an underwater cave here oh this way kind of looks like a path maybe this is a path Chocobo. Let's just warp. Thank you for stopping by. It was good seeing you again. Yeah, make sure to check the community board on Monday. I'll post when I'm going to be streaming on Monday. Good night, Artemis. some reason why this is tied to that treasure chest that was on the beach or on the dock now that I know there are ways to dock that don't require a port makes me think maybe however I get into this deeper part of Gungaga I might have to deal with the tiny Bronco
Well, we know that the one is obviously up near this area, so let's go there first. Oh, I passed it. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm going the right way. Super dark. Oh, there's something. This looks like a regular port. We'll see. Pirate King's Grotto. Here we go. Oh, it looks like these are legendary battle areas. I hope this is something I can handle. Hello there. I don't know what you are. <laughs> well, Yuffie seems very nervous.
Yeah, go buy it. We're counting on you. Gotta give it my all. Sweet. Cool. So now we should be able to collect the pirate's treasure. I should be happy. That's probably like the pirates spooking pirates. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, one of several pirate relics. to find just had to fight a big bad bird you ready to jet I like how they both just sat there and watched that whole thing go down Like, you guys can fight, right? Why didn't you help? <laughs> Alright. What is that one? Uh, actually, the other one's not that far from this one, so let's continue up. Or er, north. North! thing obtain piece of pirate jetsam okay was that what we were supposed to be looking for it's not really where the x is on the map this island here. Yeah, this is a pretty old map, so...
Oh, okay, so one of these things guards each one of them. Huh. Alright, well, gotta find another one. Actually, how are we doing? Huh. Well, that's because there's one here. There's one in each location. So. Ah, crap. You made me lose focus. I didn't hit X. Color oh. Here I come. treasure.
legit. Only the tiny Bronco had uh what do you call it? A radio. A radio. <laughs> a candy bar. <laughs> if only it had a had a radio like the the buggy and we could listen to some sea music <laughs> sea shanties stuff. okay so it's, we're gonna have to get away from that island and uh, go over to here also I kind of want to find a dock to get on this island there's a dock here, but it doesn't lead to this island. It just leads up to that tiny island that we put the thing. Hmm, maybe there's one down here. But I feel like there might be a lot of important things on that island, you know? The high wind. This island, I don't see any ports. Shoot. Unless there's one in here. on through. don't know what they want to do. Whoa, look at that fucking bird over there. Look at how big it is. I'm way over here and you can see it. Look. On the mountain over there? So No way. There ain't no way it's that big. Yeah! Yeah, we haven't even been over there. 
Whatever that creature is, that's something we don't see until much later on. Holy shit, it's big. Think it's about time we kick it up a notch. Full speed ahead and hold course. Wow. Just sitting up there shaking off whatever whatever dust it has it's like uh, yeah ah uh, nothing's gonna kill me i'm i'm the top predator <laughs> yeah i'm the apex predator all right so the map looks like whatever it is it's right in this gulf here Regular port, but uh, could be something. Disembark here. The China Bronco will automatically return to the nearest port. Oh, this is one of those type of, like what we did before. Okay, yeah, sure. And we're gonna have Appreciate to. The business. We're gonna have to go to the nearest port to get it back and come back to this area if it's not here. here but they're not here anymore just looks like one of those things it typically has a line going through it you know it's supposed to keep the line afloat um but yeah i saw the owl there it is guessing there's a spring yep life spring cast away life spring <laughs> A lot of it I can't even care. Now we're all caught up. We're all full on ginger root too, apparently. Again. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of the stream, it's one of the more common things you find. So, making the master bait ain't going to be that hard. Oh, the legendary bait. someday but right now we're doing pirate stuff so yeah. let's see all right well we're still looking around on this island apparently 
and the pirate music is still going, so maybe the pirate uh, booty is still around here somewhere. This might have been their headquarters long ago. Who knows? Definitely looks like a place where pirates would hang out. going to point me in a direction where there's stuff for my chocobo to find? Yes, you are. Bunnies always like to point to choco stuff. Yeah, like it's here. It's right here. My three L's. <laughs> My three losses. booty somewhere among all this junk I can't find it oh area of interest oh, this isn't technically pirate shipwreck find treasure here but Excuse me. Okay. It'll be easier to get this stuff off the off the boat. <laughs> if if he doesn't keep getting in my way. That's fine. The tre maybe the treasure was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> if there was anything interesting, it would probably be in this big wide open area, but there's nothing here.
I'm not sorry. It's just so funny seeing him bump into people sometimes. It's so violent in some some instances. Hey, choke a baby. And now we can warp back to this wasteland anytime I want. This bodega. Bountiful bodega area for pirates. Cat cat. Mm. <laughs> yep, connection made. Oh, could be on there. my inner cat. Mm, I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. The pirate treasure chests are easy to spot. They have this big purple hue around them. Port under junk. <laughs> I was about to say, huh, that's a port? <laughs> and then I realized it was under the. Think there'd be some players in these waters. Oh, there's a guy playing here. Alright, I guess I haven't. I guess he just now showed up. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. All right, he was level four, so let's go ahead and take him on. He was not here last time, if I remember correctly. No, and Oh, okay. Well. Let's see what we got going on.
<laughs> I don't have time to deal with this. Let's get back on the tiny Bronco. Believe it or not, back in the day. In the old days, you could make ends meet. I could have sworn that. Said this was the port under the tiny Bronco, but I don't see. It says very dark. I don't see the tiny Bronco though. Okay, it's right there. I guess maybe I warped to that guy instead of the tiny Bronco. That's weird. I didn't realize you could warp to. Queen's blood players, yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the map again. It's saying it's in that gulf. But could it mean this one down here? Or this area down here, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks more like it's closer to Junon than it does the compass thing down there. Well, this is where it was. This is where that big junk pile was and everything. Maybe it's something you can only see while on the tiny Bronco, or in the tiny Bronco. It's too close to the inland to be in near that lighthouse. It's... Somewhere right around here. Or maybe closer to there. Right on top of it. So let's take a look around. I see a duck. Yep. Oh, I'm on this boat. Appreciate the business. All sideways. Watch the bird just come out of nowhere and start attacking us. Because it sees us from all the way over there. It's like, I see you getting close to my territory. see anything oh I have been here <gasps> that's right this is where we uh, first met Kyrie during this playthrough or during this uh well no this is the second place where we met with her yeah the abandoned lighthouse right this is where her quote-unquote headquarters was hmm where I took the picture. That's why I climbed on this boat before. That's why it felt familiar. Hmm. I wonder if it has to do with this here. Well, let's go to the lighthouse anyway. All of her stuff is still here. Music isn't here though. No. 
Yep, not able to hold any of it. I've already collected all this stuff. Oh, right. There's one of these here. Oh, and there's something I didn't buy. An elephant bangle. I already have one. Whatever. It's on sale. Buy another one. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been collecting a lot of SP. Uh, yeah. Let's go further out. Slash. <laughs> right, what's up, buddy? Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Some MP from that dragon fight. Yay, just knows that. That's pretty funny. Oh, it did you little moogles with her hat? She really spent a lot decorating this place when you think about it. Alright, so there was nothing up there. I was thinking maybe we had seen a treasure chest when we were here and we couldn't do anything about it, but I'm guessing I'm thinking wrong. Alright, I've given up. Let's look for it online. We've already found two of the four treasures, so. Feels like looking for the other two online wouldn't be cheating. <laughs> 
Where's our pirate spirit? <laughs> uh, what's this one called? Oh wait, it doesn't have a name, does it? Uh, pirate treasures, Final Fantasy Seven. So the ones we're looking for, Alpha and Beta. Okay, so... Yo, Bryce, it's good to see ya. I'm doing good. I'm just looking up a walkthrough to find these last two treasures because we've been looking and we can't seem to find it. So that's the one for Gungaga. I need to find Beta first because that's where we're closest to. We'll be able to find Pirate King's Grotto Beta by traveling south under Junon Port. The treasure is at the foot of the lighthouse. Okay, so it's at the foot of the lighthouse. And we're at the lighthouse. Okay, so it must be around down here. We gotta find a way to get down there. Um, well, it looks like there's a pathway over here. So let's, yeah, let's warp to the Chocobo. Stop. <laughs> she decorated that too. No, I think you don't like it. Also, that owl wanted me to go somewhere. I don't know where. But oh well. There you are. I was like, where'd he go? Go down here. Yeah. Have the chocobo take you down. Oh, well, yeah, that's what we're doing. Thanks, Bryce. Alrighty, Mr. Owl. I see where you're trying to take me to. We are gonna check out that spring, right? Yeah. Free stuff and, you know, help the planet. And Chadley. Chadley didn't care. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah. Alright. So there should be a pathway. Getting down further. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I see the the chocobos, I sometimes when I'm riding the chocobos, I think about just having them jump off of cliffs to get me down and then I realized that would probably hurt them. Cause they're giant birds, but they can't fly very well. I'm on the boat again, damn it. Sitting there like, this is the same boat, isn't it? <laughs> I looked at the map and I was like, yep. something. Nope, 
there's nothing on the other side of the spring. All right, how the hell am I supposed to get to the foot of the... Hmm, maybe I should sell... Oh, yeah, I got a sail. There's a little port there. Okay. Back to the little Bronco. At least I found that spring. Hmm. There it is. Tiny Bronco, I mean. You think that'd be so? You ready to jet? It's, it's got jets. <laughs> I don't think it is. No, I mean, the thing on the back is not a jet. That's a propeller. Okay, those are rocks, not for <laughs> not boxes. <laughs> the lighthouse. And I see our phone. It's a walking dragon, not a four-legged dragon. All right, Grotto Beta. All these grottos are kind of the same, so when I look for the alpha, I'm going to have to look for the same thing, pretty much. I guess I won't really need that walkthrough after all. Um, it's so big. All right, well, uh, everyone should be fine. I rested at a rest stop. Come here, you. Well, that apparently pressured it. All these guys seem to be proficient in electricity. You're in good hands now. Shield. against the wind. <laughs> I like how Bear decided to chime in. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I see what's going on. See ya! <laughs> that demon's out of here. I'm guessing that means the last one we're looking for then alpha is going to be the easiest one to fight because beta was pretty easy the other two were really hard the one I died to for a minute so I'm guessing I should have done those two last They were also the easiest to find, so... Can't really blame me. 
legit. All right, now we just go straight over to Gungaga. Check around Gungaga to see if there's a port. I mean, there should be something close to where we were looking, but I guess maybe we didn't see anything. Granted, we were pretty close to the looking spot here in Junon, but it just didn't look hard enough. God, imagine if we had to map out the entire ocean. That was a box. <gasps> Fishies. Yeah. In this game, they try to dispel the hurtful rumors that dolphins are jerks. Even though dolphins in real life have proven otherwise. <laughs> when I'm looking for things... I should probably put my headphones on. Oh yeah, that's true. It does feel a lot like that when I do stuff like this too. Because, I mean... Part of me wants to do that in real life, but I don't have a car or anything to travel vast distances, so... <coughs> Being a cartographer seems like fun, but then you realize how far you have to travel. Well, there's something here. A port. But this is probably not the port that... Oh, wait, no. There we go. I see the, I see the treasure. Okay, this is the place. Cool. Found it. Alpha. It's a big guy. Yep. Practically almost kind of where we were looking. Yeah. <laughs> I made an A. <laughs> Dolphins in The Simpsons killed everyone once. I mean, that was pretty funny. Snorky. Angry. <laughs> All right, you. I don't know what your deal is, but we're fighting. Oh shit, I didn't heal. He's hitting me with a crystal. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a ugly stick. He's hitting me with the ugly stick. Doesn't work on cloud. Haha. <laughs> you had your chance. Would you stop that? <laughs> oh, man. See if uh, good old windstorm weakens him. Oh, he moved. No. Okay. Well, he's apparently not weak. Not weak against. Try thunder. 
Yeah, it does kind of make me think. Oh, right. Didn't we play Rogue Galaxy, April? Don't give up. Yeah, we did. That was a pretty fun game, but I can't remember any of it. <laughs> any last words? In here, what were you talking about? You were speaking a little low. Back to Port uh, Costa del Sol. Can I get back on the boat? Or we could just warp there, but. Nah. Where are you going? You've got a treasure to transport. Oh, alright, I guess we gotta do it here. Okay. If you say so, Red. Zeger. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Weird. It's a accessory. Huh. Yeah. I made it. It looks freaky. Hey, look. It's glowing. Who 
wherever that compass will take us. Maybe it'll lead us to some crazy treasure. I can't wait to find out. You do you. Uh, <laughs> or not. I mean, nothing could compare to the greatest treasure of all. The planet. Okay, crew. Let's weigh anchor and hoist the mizzen. The live stream's calling. It's high time we set sail. Yo-ho, me hearties! <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just a big puppy dog. Sweet. Ancient Pirate King's trusty compass. While sailing. Oh, okay. Well. Well, maybe that's what the Jetsum's all about. Okay, cool. And we can redo those battles anytime we want to. You ready to jet? Well, that was a lot of fun, but it didn't take up too much time. So we have enough time to do something else. Really? Mm, I was going to say we complete one of the other regions we've already started on. Nah, I wanna, I wanna, this was technically a side quest, so. Speaking of which, let's take a look and see if it's marked off now. No, it's not. So maybe it wasn't the side quest. It was just an extra thing to do, I guess. Still don't know what that question mark in Costa del Sol is then. All right, so let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go back there, I guess. We could save there. And then I guess I'll warp to either the grasslands or the Junon region. Maybe the Junon region. Do a bunch of stuff there. We'll take a little break and then do a bunch of stuff there. Hmm. I just realized where I've heard Red's new voice from. This is the voice of Nermal in the new Garfield show. Yeah. <laughs> so he's <it's> Nermal. <laughs> I was like, huh, that voice does sound familiar. Welcome to the Royal Coast. Please enjoy your stay. Welcome. Need some rooms? Yeah, we're gonna rest. After doing a lot of pirate stuff. There we go. Alright, now we're going to take a bit of a break and we'll be back in about 10, 20 minutes. Go grab some snacks, get drinks, all that stuff. Leave you guys with some music.
Where are we back? Alrighty. So let's take a look where are we going to go. is so weird. We look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, I think this is down in the center. It's weird not to have any actual quests, so let's go to the bulletin board because it looks like there's something to do here in the Junon region on the bulletin board. It's so hard to see stuff. It's probably a thing to warp to. Ah, oh, there we go. What the hell is Rhonda gonna do about all this? She's gonna take us Brittle houses. Isn't Priscilla just oil, gold? Do you need something delivered? Right. Oh, it's something with the dolphin. Tides of war and worry. Talk to that little girl. Yeah, it's a, we're recruiting for the one in the beginning, in the original game, who we were supposed to save, but we ended up saving Yuffie in this one instead. Oh yeah, that would be weird, Bryce. With all the ways to cure fish, it's Practically an art form, a very stinky art form. Yeah, there she is. So, is there really going to be another time, war? Mm? Oh, hey, Mister. Hey, Yuffie. Hmm. You guys are looking grim. Somebody die? The grown-ups are saying there's going to be a war soon. A real bad one too. And because we're right below Junon. Everyone's worried we're gonna get hit first. Don't worry. Under Junon doesn't really have any strategic value. I mean, it would get taken along with the rest of the city. But so long as you don't piss off the occupying forces, they probably wouldn't beat the crap out of you. Mm. Well, I hope that doesn't happen, because it sounds horrible. <laughs> um, more importantly, how long has it been since we last saw each other? We should make the most of this lucky little reunion. That'd be great! But what should we do? Hmm. Ah, I've got it! Our 
adorable dolphin friend and this guy are going to put on the most spectacular show ever. Who's ready for a good time? Yay! <laughs> oh boy, more dolphin stuff, like I said. <laughs> Steer R2 to perform shark turns. Okay. Kind of straightforward. Let's do it. Just trust in Mr. Dolphin. If you say so. Last time Mr. Dolphin was being a jerk. Signs are telling me to go. <sighs> I guess I was supposed to. I think I'm supposed to be able to go fast. Her. This isn't very easy. I don't know why the, the targets are pointing me directly at the things I'm not supposed to hit, you know? I am not supposed to hit the buoys. I don't know why you're telling me to go straight towards them while they're targeting them. Try again. Yeah. Oh, not easy. Get them all out of my way. Oh my god, I hate those. I, I can't speed up. Target is like right on a thing I'm not supposed to hit all the damn time. I'm gonna the target time. V is good. 
I can't see what. Eh. I can't do any better. It won't let me retry. Gotta say, I was pretty worried for a sec. I had a fun time watching, though. It's funny how much you sucked. You know, all we really need is a couple of super duper powerful orbs. We give Shinra and Sephiroth what's coming to them, and then it's happily ever after. Maybe. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show, but even if you didn't, you still gotta pay. That'll be one orb apiece, kiddos. Pony up! What? But I don't have any! What a ripoff! <laughs> without pay? <laughs> Thanks a bunch, mister. You better come back and put on another show sometime, okay? Sure. <laughs> Wait, I can do that again? Everyone's waiting for an encore. Just trust in Mr. Dolphin. Get down exactly where it is I'm supposed to go. I could do pretty good at this game, but the way that they have a target right on the things I'm not supposed to hit. And the fact that the <laughs> dolphin Close. can't speed up. Makes this way too hard. Nailed it. I also don't like that the arrows are pointing on, on the sides that I'm supposed to go in. But they're the same arrows that are kind of directing me to make a hard turn, you know? So it makes me think that I'm supposed to make a hard turn there, but no, I'm just supposed to stay on the opposite side of the thing. Does not conveyed very well when you're using such drastically huge arrows that are making me think I'm supposed to quickly go in that direction. See, and when he speeds up, it's always like inappropriately timed. I don't think I can, I, I don't know what the best time is, so I don't know what to aim for. <laughs> Awesome! 
I couldn't see. <laughs> Better time than before. I'm getting better as it goes along, but I think it's supposed to get under 140. Let's see how well I did. Yeah, that's an A. I think S is the best. Let's see what I get. You put on another show for us sometime. You better come back soon, okay? Okay, for the S rank or whatever it is, I'll get Dark Matter. So yeah, let's try. I think it's just, I gotta get race. under, maybe under 130. Let's try getting under 140 first. What was that? that thing. Put my headphones on so I can hear you better, Bryce. There we go. Now I should be able to hear. No. <laughs> you do it in 20 seconds. <laughs> Smell April's food is still lingering and messing with my brain. You're shitting me. don't know where they wanted me to go there it made no sense that they were just like there like they teleported
these things are oddly placed. Everything's very oddly placed. Like that, what the hell? It legitimately makes no sense. Function function was on. Why is that even a thing? I'm just gonna stay there. That seems to be the safest path, even though it looked like the most dangerous. I'm telling you, the hitboxes in this 
mini games suck ass. Not sure. Can't tell you. Sorry. I can't tell what anything is anymore. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Come on. That was so good. I don't know what the fuck was going on with where everything was suddenly stationed. It just felt weird. What the fuck? I, I really don't get that part. It's like they want me to go through the center, but they, they don't. I don't know. The arrows are stupid. Why would they even put them like that? It's so weird.
I, I don't know why sometimes the controls... I, I don't get it. I don't get why sometimes the controls work perfectly and then sometimes they want to be complete ass. I feel, I have a very strong feeling that literally all of the mini games that don't involve any of the basic functions of this game were all done at the very tail end of development and nobody bothered to play them to make sure they function correctly because that is exactly how this feels. Feels like baby's first video game developed. Because the controls for this feel so off, sometimes they're so good, and then sometimes they just start to suck ass. It's so weird and infuriating. God, like that? What the hell was that? I only got one of those balloons and I couldn't control at all. Wh how, what else was I supposed to do to get the rest of those balloons? Because you can't speed up or slow down. You have no control over the speeding up of this character. That's all depicted on how many stupid balloons that you pop. So if I'm supposed to slow down to get all of those balloons on that jump, then it won't let me. Because the slowing down in this mechanic it is a skid. He'd turn to the left or to the right if I did that. And I don't want to do either when I'm making a jump. And the placement. The placement and timing of everything is off. It doesn't stay the same both ways. So it's like you can't go through this the, the course in the same way twice. It's like the timing will be off and you can't put the timing back in the correct order. Look, see, it's off now. And I can't get those balloons. The timing's off. It sucks so bad. It's like they didn't tie all of the environmental things and environmental hazards to the minigame. To where they'd reset whenever you reset the minigame. It's like they keep going in the same motion. To where if you... Look, now see, now it's functioning perfectly. Now they're back on track. That's so dumb. That's such a PS1 thing nice. to do, for a developer to do. I will get it if this was a super old game, but it's not. You have the technology to reset those bobbers whenever I reset this minigame, but you don't do it. So the bobbers go off sync. And they end up not being in the same place twice. Oh, come on. Uh. That just makes half of these runs that I'm having to repeat not my fault. It's the developers and the way they made this mini game.
course I missed it. Literally nothing is guaranteed when you're playing this mini game. Fuck! Ah. <laughs> uh. Now everything's off sync again. I mean, I guess there is more of an incentive. What the hell? What else was I supposed to do? I can't go down the center because the damn buoys are off sync. So. When you're doing something for other people, it's like you have to actually perform admirably. But when you're doing stuff for yourself, it's like you don't have to do as much. Or put as much effort into it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I had to go all the way around those buoys because they're off. Off. Off sync. Hell, at this point, I feel like I could do a better job with this mini game in the tiny Bronco. Than in uh, than on this dumb dolphin. I couldn't make that, that corner. Fuck, oh, that was close. I got one. Woo! Skin of my teeth. Nice. No! <laughs> This sucks ass.
Oh, you're kidding me. Come on. Ah, that's the best I could fucking do. Come on. Mm, it's gotta be below 140. You're shitting me. What was that? I'm telling you, the hitboxes. So shit. They're such crap. I did not hit that buoy. I just grazed it. But I didn't hit it. Yet I got away with that, which is weird. Never get those. Oh, my God, that was so close. Keep it up, guys. Oh, I get the oh no. Nope, I'm not gonna break this. Fucking up too much, I'm not getting enough orbs. Fuck you! Well, that didn't even have to be there. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm not going to get away with this. It's so weird. You can never really tell what the damn hitboxes are going to do. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Got two. Nailed it. I'm really trying to hit the start button and it won't let me.
Uh, if there's one thing they don't have to do, it's have the annoying ass dolphins pop up in front of me all the time. Freaking me out when I'm trying to concentrate and line up everything correctly. It's so distracting. They legitimately don't have to do that. Alright, fine. I, I don't fucking want to stop anyway. What the hell? Oh, What the hell? Why is that turn so damn tight? That's shit. That one just should not be there. You have to get the balls. Man. Well, I mean, sometimes you can make those strategic 
decisions and sometimes you just can't. Because you're going to need the orbs to try and close the gap. I know it's not that obvious, but up, they give you a little bit of a speed boof boost when you get them. So it's kind of like getting a power-up that instantly happens. And sometimes those buoys just don't want to uh, function correctly. They, they were supposed to open up, but the ones on the right just didn't want to seem to move. What is with this shit? Can you see this shit? What the hell? Why? Such shit. <laughs> it's like I'm saying, the shit gets off sync. And it's stupid. You want to know what would prevent it from going off sync? If you could control the fucking speed of the dolphin. Just giving me a, a fucking skid isn't going to help anything. Skidding only really helps if you're going to make a tight turn, and there's like only two of them in this whole thing. Really, only two of them. The rest of them you don't, you can't drift. Otherwise, you're not going to do good. You're not going to get a good time because drifting slows you down. This is one of those things where di drifting doesn't give you a boost. It just slows you down. Doesn't even make things smooth either. If anything, it makes things worse because you're just suddenly not moving. I'm off sync again. I'm off sync with this... Stupid buoy. So the programmers decided this was a great way to, to make your game to not reset all of the hazards every time you reset the minigame. Oh my god, off sync. This is what I'm saying.
right into it. Such stupid placement. Man. Like right in the center of the goddamn field. You're a shit. <laughs> It's not just that, but it's the sudden change of the camera when you do the drift. It closes in on your character to where you can't see where you're about to dart off to unless you wait for the camera to move, and that just slows you down even more. The camera should stay the same when you're doing a drift. I don't know. If anything, it should zoom out when you're doing a drift. I don't think... I don't think the developers of this minigame even played a single fucking racing game in their life. Anytime you do a drift, you do not, the camera does not zoom in. Most of the time it zooms out. supposed to get those other damn balloons and they went right in my way this is what I'm saying it's just completely off sync Nailed it! 
right on it. That's such shit placement. Can't control where I'm gonna land when I'm doing a jump. I'm on a fucking dolphin. I'm not on a goddamn glider. Shit, it's all shit. This whole entire minigame is shit. I, I don't fucking... Oh, when it gets off sync, it is just impossible to play this game. Half the times I'm restart, not even half. 75% of the times I'm having to restart this damn thing. Is because this stupid fucking mini game gets off sync. Sync the goddamn level correctly, and maybe I can actually accomplish shit. You're amazing. They weren't even moving that time. That shit. Nailed it. That time, what the hell? Bullshit. Oh shit, that better be it. Oh, okay, rank star. I don't know what rank star means, but it has to be the last rank. It has to be the last rank. <laughs> One star startup. One star startup, what does that mean? Oh, does that mean I got my first star? Oh, well. So that means that you can get a star in all of them, I guess. In all of the mini games. Oh, that shit. I don't want to go through every single mini game until I get a star in each one. I'm not doing that. Fuck you guys. Ah, oh, jeez. That was messed up. Oh, let me see here. Oh, there it is. Tides of War. Of course, I get a star. Okay, I think that's what I have to do to get stars in all of the side quests. So, is it possible for me to go through all of the side quests again? Huh. That's interesting. I mean, I don't want to, obviously. 
Oh my god, did I break the game? Is the minigame music stuck now? <laughs> Am I going to hear that for the rest of my life? This minigame song stuck in my head. Okay, it's going away. Thank god. It's just that beach. That's where it is. All right, so there is something new on the board. Okay, what is it? What's it going to be? Oh, here it is. All right, I'm going to go grab April. Hold up. Also, sorry, Bryce. I didn't see you. Uh, you cut out. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, I hope you enjoy your dinner. Go meet up with the guy who wants me to do this. At least it's something where I have to fight and I don't have to do a dumb minigame. I'm going to have to go to the entrance way to Junon and walk all the way there, or Chocobo all the way there. Oh, you missed it yesterday when you left. 
There was this one area I had to get to by landing on a... Uh... I'm talking about in Cosmo Canyon. When... Yeah, the day before I met. Um... But yeah, there was an area that I had to get to by landing on a thin strip of... Uh, of ruin. And... When I... It, it wasn't that bad, but, um... When I did, all the others were following me, and we all landed on it, and it was kind of cute, like, seeing a flock of birds land on a wire or something. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, jeez, jeez, just, like, all the way all of them landed. I was like, we're like a, a flock of chocoboo. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> like, uh, what would you call it? A flock of chocoboo. Uh, a murder of chocoboo. <laughs> I guess I've heard. You know what? That is a good question. I should look that up uh, when I'm done. Yeah. I guess. Well, what would you call a herd of horse? What would you call a bunch of horses? Would you call that a herd? Hmm. Play art sweeper. What the? F oh, it's a trophy. Ah. All right. So from here, I just follow this road down, and I might as well grab that while I'm at it. Yep, there it is. Unlike Gongaga and Cosmo Canyon, I can legitimately see where everything is. Meh. They don't bother Chocobo. Chocobo are fellow monsters. So. Come on. Let's do it. Wait, where'd they go? <laughs> oh, there it is. What the? Okay. <laughs> the these chocobo are ghosts.
Captain. Oh, wow, it's really you. 7th Infantry, right? It's good to see you again, Captain. You here to offer support? Something like that. Sit rep? Sir, we managed to contain a dangerous fiend in the sector up ahead. But said fiend proved more formidable than expected. So we were awaiting reinforcements. And imagine our surprise when you showed up. The target seems to have settled down, but there's no telling when it'll act up again. Now's the perfect time to take the thing out. Suppose we ought to lend him a hand, huh? All right, Captain, follow us. All right, just don't die. <laughs> then the Chocobo is coming for backup. They're like, don't worry, I'll back you guys up. I mean, I do have the material. Oh, gosh. Those two again. You. Fall back now, sir. Yeah, uh, we gotta deal with this. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Well, that's not good. If we don't find and stop that feed, it could kill countless civilians. That a chocobo could track its scent. You're on it? Yeah. Good. We'll return to Junon. The garrison needs to be informed about the situation. That thing's vicious. Give it the chance? And it'll rip your heads clean off. So make sure you beat it to the punch. Okay. Huh. We'll link back up with you once we finish our report. Till then, Captain. Uh, I don't 
like that idea. Oh shit, this thing? Ew. Oh, I can't really follow it up there. Sandbags, really? Um, yeah, where'd it go? That way. because we're going faster. I guess so. <laughs> it's, it's legitimately not tracking a scent. This light thing just showed up to help them. <laughs> but uh, we can't see it. Only get triple book. Yeah. <laughs> we'll pretend like it's something we can smell. I see you. Weird monster eating Mako thing. Uh oh. I'll take you. Yeah. No, come back. And now we got bad guys. Just regular bad guys. Yeah. Get ready. Gotcha. Gotta be careful. <laughs> as long as it works. Yeah, Cloud and Yuki, yeah. Yeah, sure. Chocobo, follow the scent.
Give me a little girl, let's snip that thing. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> Well, I can't get up there, but I can go around. Don't disappear, bro. Oh, <laughs> to the floor. We're doing this side quest, we seem to be going around to a lot of areas, so I guess it's a good thing that we do this. Alright. 
Like, are we still doing the thing? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Wait, wait, wait. It's back. And go up. Go up. No. Barriers. Light character for the job. Give it my all. 
Nope. I'm Ran told that the target's oh, been dead. neutralized. Good. Excellent work out there. Ma'am. Ma <laughs> Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? I figured you guys would have been shipped back to Midgar by now. Normally, I wouldn't answer that sort of question. But why not? The Brass ordered us to remain behind, following the ceremony. Anything else? That little Hellion back there was a bioweapon developed by R&D with the cooperation of advanced weaponry. They were keeping it in that underwater facility of theirs, but it managed to escape during a recent incident. Our investigations are ongoing, but we suspect the Shinra Resistance Committee was involved. You're familiar with their operations? Nope, not at all. <laughs> They may operate as independent cells, but it seems they communicate regularly. While united by their desire to take down Shinra, the how and why of it varies considerably between factions. Some see civilian casualties as acceptable collateral damage, or our fault. I've no doubt these extremists sick that monster on the city. Such scum deserve nothing less than to be trapped in a room full of tonberries. Our orders were to neutralize the fleeing fiend and ensure the safety of the local populace. While we succeeded in locating the target and keeping it contained within an isolated area, it was too tough to take on. After we parted ways with you, we hurried back to Junon and called for additional reinforcements. But our calls went unanswered. There just aren't enough troopers to go around. That's bullshit. There's plenty of troopers. They just didn't want to help because they heard we were fraternizing with the enemy. I have to admit, I was worried the situation might have gotten completely out of hand. But you managed to bring it under control. You did good out there today. <laughs> I must say, in all my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have a soldier in my ranks. One who keeps such unusual company at that. Suspected terrorists. A Utaya ninja. An escaped lab rat. And an ancient. At ease, we're heading home. I need to report today's events. How the 7th Infantry resolved the crisis on its own. So you're not gonna tell them about us? <laughs> no, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise... I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. Assuming we all live long enough, there's a chance we may meet again someday. Though let's hope for your sakes that it isn't on the field of battle. We thank you for your support, Captain. Seventh Infantry, salute! At ease, troop. For good this time. Okay. Some friends in unusual places. Beneath still waters. Done. Alright. So, was that all of them, or is there another one that just showed up? I think I have to look at it. Yep, that was all. All is inboard. Yeah. And we unlocked quite a bit just by doing that. <laughs> it took us uh, a bit of the way through Junon, so we don't really have to. Well, there is that tower we haven't done. Uh, that's not part of Junon. Uh, but yeah, we can go grab that tower and then head back into town. 
I have to walk there, though. It's not that far, though. Oh, cook. Conk, 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 conk. <laughs> oh, that, there goes my bag. <laughs> Did a lot of water stuff today. In fact, wait, what was that quest called? Something about still waters run deep? Was that it? <laughs> lots and lots of... But yeah. Yeah, beneath still water. A lot of water related things happening today. I don't know what I'm going to call this stream, but it's going to be something water related. No, I've, I think I already named the stream that. Punch through. Or just fly off the damn handle. Jesus, Cloud. Say goodbye. You're pay attention. You're going to be a bugger, aren't you? Bug. That's it. Fire. No escape. No time to celebrate. <laughs> Wish I could have seen it. Probably blew up. I think the most annoying types of enemy are the flying ones. Because they make me think of... of well, bugs. <laughs> Flying bugs. They're the most annoying type of bugs. And here we go. Tower complete. <laughs> Nothing. That was the last tower or not? Oh, this will fall straight down. Oh, come here, come here. It's like, wait, wait. What? Now you're just gonna warp. Fish? <laughs> yeah. What? Wait, wait. We barely did any Chocobo stuff this time. Did mostly water stuff. We sailed around the seven seas in a boat and then we, then we, uh, and then we rode on a dolphin for a hour or so. <laughs> Frustratingly. sidetracked. Yeah, and then go. How the hell did I get over there? I, I got this tower, right? Yeah, it was this tower. How the fuck did I get all the way over there so fast? Jesus. Jokabu is a lot faster than I thought it was. Um, well, That's not the place. Oh, here it is. All right, let's go take a look at the board, but I do think that's it for Junon for now. Brittle houses. It's in precipitate oil, coal. All right. <laughs> All right. Just out of nowhere. 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it for Juno for now. Where do we have left to explore? Grasslands. We still have to look around the grasslands and find all the towers there. Yeah. Uh, the map. Did we get all of the fountains here? The springs, I mean. I think all we have left are... No. Yeah, right there. Okay, maybe I should grab that first. April, it's probably going to annoy some people. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, again, it's kind of snapping, clapping, uh, making certain hot, like, uh, noises that are very knowledgeable like that, you know. It's, it's, a, it's an issue of uh, the way sound travels. Like glass breaking and things like that, you know. Yeah. Just slapping in general would. Yeah. That's why whenever I do a sound test, like if I'm far away and I want to test the sound, I'll snap. I think this is the right way. No, it's not. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm just on the other side of water. Now let's go here. It'll be easier to track the road. side or this side hmm. I'll try this side first you know what the owl might show up there it is oh I see sorry little guy or big guy you're not little at all. Chocobo, big birds. Usually when I find all the towers and fountains, something like that happens. creature around this area that we get interesting ingredients from. Ah, I knew there would be something there. I said when I was on that island that that, that big open space seemed suspicious. Just didn't know what it was that was going to pop up. Oh, and I can warp to there. Let's fight it and see how it is. What it is. Yeah, I'll save. Uh. Remember, I gotta hold down the triangle button to initiate the fight. Natural habitat. There's still much we don't know about this creature, so 
so make sure you are well prepared before proceeding. Mind flare. I'm trying to remember what Final Fantasy VII monster that is. I'll know when I see it. Oh, a weird Cthulhu. Oh, right, I remember these. Weird Cthulhu creature, right. <laughs> Even the uh, even the bad guy we thought fought was ocean themed. <laughs> lots and lots of sea stuff today. I gotta come up with a a, a good title that's water related. Uh, oh right, let's go back to Costa del Sol. I've done pretty much everything I can do here. Well, everything I want to do anyway. Junon region complete. And we did pirate stuff. We did a lot of ocean related stuff. The best way to make tracks is on Chuckleback. A real seaside a real a real What would you call an oceanic adventure kind of thing? I don't think that's what you would call it, but it's like uh fuck. I don't know what you would call it. Darn it. It would help me. Yeah. Welcome. Need some rooms? <laughs> yeah. Water fun with dolphins. Yeah, no, that's... That was not fun. <laughs> there we go. All full up. We used a lot of the... Giga potions. Let's check out transmutation. And see if I can... Oh, I can make X potions now. That's good. Well, not now, but eventually I will. Oh, man. Okay, well. No, no, no. Uh, let's look for the let's look for the bigger stuff first. Mm. Mm. All right, I guess we have no choice but to settle for the small fry experience. Yep, we're not really close to... 
Oh, we need to make Giga Potions just to make Giga Mist. <laughs> Planet Spirit also. Weird. I feel like I get a lot of those, but I guess not. Alright. Save. Did a lot. Today was a good adventure. So, yeah, not that many side quests, though. I forgot to check that. Right. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. We still got the one here in Costa del Sol that we still haven't figured out how to unlock. I'll look into that. There. There. I guess next time we play, we're going to Nibble. And, uh, checking out all the Nibelheim quest, side quests. Nothing else to do here. Maybe even if we have time, finish all of the Chadley stuff in gr the grasslands. Because that's the only other place that we haven't really, you know. Alright, so next time we play... Going to Nebo. Gonna nibble on down to Nebo. <laughs> uh, what's the Chadley menu? I haven't been looking at that. Oh, these are all the uh, boss fight combat things. Yeah. Oh, they also have these. The region intel stuff. Okay, I get it. begun to look and yeah we didn't we barely did anything and it was mostly concerned with story there for another day of all creator alive nobody tuned in over on twitch that's sad i want to thank over on youtube i want to thank bryce and artemis for stopping by and hanging out for as long as they did i hope you all have a great night and sleep easy all right to those watching in the archives oh, to those watching in the archives if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up give it a like share it with someone you think might enjoy it and uh, subscribe if you have not already. I'm not going to be playing for the next three days. I never play on the weekend. I'll keep you all in touch. And I'll post something on Monday as to when it is I'm going to be streaming again. So don't worry. Always check the community tab to see what's going on with my schedule. And I will keep you updated there on YouTube. Uh, Alright, so I want to say goodnight, April. Alright, so this is for another day of all created alive. I'm going to bed. Y'all have a great day, great night, depending on where you live, and I'll see you later. Good night, everyone.